without me. My boyfriend and business partner came in and announced he was marrying my secretary. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was some kind of a joke. I'm Barbara Corcoran and I'm a shark investor on ABC Shark Tank. I started my business when I was 23. It was a real estate brokerage firm and I built it and sold it when I was 50. And since then I've been in the TV business. My biggest belly flop happened one night when I was making pasta for my three stepchildren and my boyfriend and business partner came in and announced he was marrying my secretary. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was some kind of a joke. But in an instant, I realized it wasn't a joke. And he said, take your time moving out. I took about a minute, grabbed my toothbrush and got myself out of there. On the way out the door on that Friday morning, he said to me, you'll never succeed without me. And I knew everything in my bones that I would rather die than let him see me not succeed. I then moved on to the sofa with my best friend in Manhattan. And that became the beginning of a, a terrible spiral of ego. Now thinking back at it, I'm thinking, why was I so hard on myself? But he left me for the younger woman. After all, he had found me, he had given me the money to start my business. He was my boyfriend, I was a mother to his kids. I thought I had a right to be there. Life's not that way. And so I walked in about a year later when I was able to build the courage and I told him, we're ending the business today. We're gonna chop our 14 people in half you take seven, I take seven, you pick the first one, I'll pick the second, etc. I was able to rent the same space in the same building for my landlord that afternoon, and I moved my seven people on Monday morning into their new space with their possessions neatly packed in a box. And that was the beginning of my second business, which became really my fortune and my love in life. I published a lot of statistical reports on the marketplace that helped me build my business tremendously. I looked and I saw that we were number one. We were the number one real estate agent in Manhattan and that was such a thrill. And I later sold that for $66 billion, almost 20 years to the day. And now it seems so unimportant. Who cares if he had a younger, prettier wife? What a joke. I got to be who I was and it wouldn't have happened without that. It's just a bump along the way.